guys just checking in today it is rather hot here in Vegas and just watching the kids as they get cool in the pool but I wanted to check in I didn't get a video up yesterday my my movie app just wasn't working it wasn't letting me edit and sometimes it does that we're just like won't come on until it feels like it <laughs> and then I can use it again so it's very frustrating but um, in any case I was thinking about fiber and I wanted to talk to you about that it's like um, you know in in the United States and in, in many parts of the world I think that many experts tell us to try to shoot for anywhere from 25 to 30 grams per day and a lot of them will say 30 is the magic number if you can get up to 30 grams of fiber per day and I just think you know that that may be a lot more than what some people are having but I really don't think it's really it's it's not anywhere near as far as we could probably go to feed our gut microbiome you know for good health and I was reading about the heads of people um, heads of people in Tanzania um, which you know for many years the way that they eat they're mostly there's a lot of hunter gatherers you know so they do a lot of eating of you know roots and things like that except during the dry months because during the dry months um, they eat meat like a lot like the rest of the world but then when it's not that time they will eat um, things that they forage and they end up getting somewhere between a hundred and a hundred and fifty grams of fiber every day every day a hundred to 150 grams of fiber and you know you know so I did this experiment okay and I said I thought I was getting about 30 grams because I was watching that before I thought I was getting like 25 to 30 grams before I did this challenge right now which I thought was quite a bit so then we started this challenge and I was like whoa this is really really bumped it up okay and so yesterday I said I'm going to of course I keep my points on my Weight Watcher app but I said you know what I'm gonna use the chronometer app and I'm gonna track because it tracks all of your micro and your macronutrients I want to see how much fiber I'm getting average while I'm on this challenge and um, so when I put it in, by the time I was done with breakfast, I had already got like 26 grams of fiber just with breakfast doing this challenge alone, which I thought was phenomenal. So then what happened was at lunchtime, I ended up making myself this amazing Cobb salad, which was great. Um, but it made me so full that I really didn't want any dinner, you know, and so when dinner came around, I ate such a tiny sparse amount that, um, you know, I really couldn't get much more fiber in than that. But even so, I've checked um, on the chronometer and w given what I had yesterday, which I'm practically missing a whole other meal, um, I had uh, marked up, what was it? I had 46, 46.5 grams of fiber, I think, for the day yesterday. And if I was eating like I normally do where I would have had like a full dinner, I think I would have got more like, I don't know, maybe 60 or something like that, which is like huge. It's huge compared to what I was doing before this challenge. But it's nowhere near 100 to 150. So I'm thinking, you know, if we're, we're now we're, we're nearing the end of the challenge. We only have a little bit more to go in this month, right? Um, but keep on going. Um, but you know, I'm, I just want to put an encouragement out there because if you're thinking, oh, I can't wait till the challenge is over so I can stop eating so much fiber. We're really not eating that much fiber as we could be eating. So the fact that we've increased it more, I really would like for you to consider um, as long as you're doing okay health-wise, your doctor is okay with it, and you feel fine, really try to make it a continued part of our dietary journey because it, there's so many health benefits. And I, I mean, if it's like going to increase the health of our mi gut microbiome, that is huge because um, our gut has uh, 85 percent of the, our serotonin that's made in our body is is made in the gut right so we want it to be operating at optimum level plus i don't know if you knew this or not but 
90%, 90% of our immune system is located in our gut. So we really want it in good shape. So, you know, this, you know, incorporating more fiber thing is a huge, huge thing. And I have to say, I mean, seeing your guys' posts on Instagram, on other Facebook pages and things like that, telling me what you're having. I am like so proud to be part of this group that of people that have committed themselves to this for a month to, you know, good gut health and increasing that fiber and fruits and veggies. And um, I'm just so proud of being part of this group and that we're doing this. So anyway, I just wanted to check in with you and share some of those thoughts on fiber and all that kind of stuff. All right, so I'm going to let you go for now. I'll show you what I had, and um, I'll see you next time. Love you guys. All right, so for breakfast here, I'm putting together a quick smoothie. I need it to be fast sometimes, and this is all what I'm putting in it. One scoop of this organic protein powder, which is plant-based. Uh, I'm using a frozen banana. I'm using a half a cup of frozen blueberries, unsweetened almond milk, two cups of frozen spinach. Frozen spinach really comes in handy in smoothies, and I'm using one of these Ruby packets, and um, these are really good. I'm actually going to order some more. And there's like, look how many fruits and veggies are in here. There's like four uh, servings of fruits and veggies in here. And they have a ton of wonderful berries in here. So I'll just take a look at that. Um, so anyway, that was going to go in here. Is I have to tell you, this tasted so delicious. It was so good. So I had this. Usually when I have a cold smoothie, I'm also hungry for something that's hot and salty um, not too far afterwards so I'm also having a baked potato with some of this Kinder's um, garlic and butter topping on top really good lunch was a Cobb salad with reduced fat blue cheese and some of the bolt house ranch and uh, oh my goodness this kept me so full for the rest of the night um, when it was time to have dinner with my family, I served myself, but I didn't eat it all. I just couldn't. So I just had a little bit of, um, what you see here, grapes and beans and a tamale. Look how many fruits and veggies I got. 15. That's like crazy. I don't think I've ever got that many in this whole challenge.